Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love in general reading. This is for the element of uh, fire. So if you're Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of February 2nd, um, 5th through the 7th, 2021. Um, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, if you're wanting to uh, reach me by phone, that's a separate process. So make sure you're registered at Bill Per Call, uh, request a call back, and if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. Also, check out Patreon because the Venus sign readings are there now. Um, and as well as additional content that you may enjoy. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We have this central issue, heart of the matter, as the sun. We have the nine of coins. We have the knight of wands. We have death. Eight of swords. Four of pinnacles. Ace of Swords and Justice. All right. So I feel like you guys are very much focused on yourself, um, taking care of your needs uh, financially, physically. Um, you also may be treating yourself to something. Um, I feel too like someone is also attracted to your confidence. So there may be someone around you that is um, giving you a lot of attention. It could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this just may be their energy. Matter of fact, it does look like having the confidence to pursue or express how one feels. <clears throat> the only thing is that somebody might get shot down or you might get shot down if you're the one that was confident to approach somebody. Um, I feel like maybe something is a dead end depending on you know who or what this is exactly. Uh, you may need to let go of your ego or your pride as well. Something could be coming going on where there's too much pride. And so there may need to be some sort of check, like a reality check, or maybe you need to put yourself in check. I also feel that there is a need to overcome anxiety. You may need to find a balance between confidence and uh, what do you call it? You know, just being confident, but not conceited or arrogant. So something's going on where maybe there's a, an imbalance with that. Because you don't want to doubt yourself. You don't want to put yourself down. But at the same time, you don't want to, um, you know, just come off in a way that is negative either. So just find your balance with that. But it also looks like you go from having someone's attention to someone's silence. Or vice versa. Someone has your attention at first and then it's just like, oh no, silent. Hmm. Something also could be going on where you're undergoing some sort of a transformation or change. Hmm. I feel like there's some sort of stagnation. Some sort of stagnation. If you're waiting for some sort of response, I feel like there's going to be silence before there is a response or confirmation. Now, it could be that maybe you approach someone and then you didn't hear anything. 
you were confident and then you lost your confidence or kind of fell off your high horse when you did not get a response back. And now there's just this waiting and trying to see what happens. But I do feel like eventually, if you were waiting for a response, you're going to get one or you're going to have clarity. But after a period of darkness or unknown of some sort. Mm. There also could be some sort of loss, like a job loss, loss of a friend, communication, a lover. Hmm. There needs to be balance in your life. There is a need for you to start looking at things logically. And it's funny because I, I, I was getting like focus on your heart in another reading. Your reading is saying something about use your logic or use common sense to make some sort of decision. You might have to make some sort of executive decision. If you like say, for instance, you're trying to wait and hear from someone else before making some sort of decision. You might have to be like, I cannot wait to hear back from you. I got to make this decision on my own. Um, so there may be some sort of executive decision that you need to make. Um, I'm also seeing something about, I guess, filing for taxes. Like you might be focusing on your taxes this weekend. Um, I know that's random, but yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be focused on that. Um, hmm. You also might have to deal with some sort of legalities or paperwork. Something may require your signature or you might need to agree to something this weekend. If you are dealing with legalities, it looks like some sort of verdict is going to be reached. What it is, can't say just yet. I also feel that whatever you have put out into the universe is going to come back to you, is going to be revealed to you. Maybe you're unaware of your actions. So I feel like if your actions were good, it's going to show. If your actions were not so good, it's going to show. If you're wondering about when something begins, I feel like it's all in divine timing, but I am getting like end of the month. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Capricorn or Scorpio, as well as another fire sign. Okay, so yeah, no, they have not reached a verdict. Uh, yeah, the verdict is that there is no verdict. So there's no conclusion, there's no answer, there's no response, there's no decision in your matter. Something's undecided. Like if you're waiting to find out if you got the job if you got the house, if you've been approved for anything, it's like wait and see. No response this weekend. There's some sort of delays, some sort of hold up. And it could be because of Mercury retrograde. Definitely be careful about filing paperwork because maybe there's something that you're leaving out. Also, if you need to make a decision about anything, it's an important decision, so no need to rush. I feel like don't make this decision until you're ready or until, until more information comes out or until there's been some sort of change in a situation. Mm. I 
feel like you're saying I need to think about it. I feel like if somebody is saying I need to think about it, the answer is leaning towards a yes, but you still have to wait and see. If you proposed something to somebody, you put something out there, there was some sort of negotiation, you were like, why don't we do this? You want to do this? Do you want to split it? Do you want to do this, that, and the other? I feel like whatever that is, somebody is like, let me think about it, but they're leaning towards a yes. Yeah, there's some sort of difficult decision needing to be made. I also feel that there's some sort of pattern, there's some sort of ongoing pattern. Something is karmic, like you keep having to do the same karmic lessons over and over again until you can understand something or see it, see something from a different perspective. It's like you keep getting put in the same situations, being sent the same type of person or dealing with the same energy. You also may have been too close to a situation to see things clearly. So being too close can sometimes blind you to the facts. I feel like someone is also asking about moving in. It's like, do you want to be roommates or do you want to move in together? Like I said, it either way, it just is leaning towards um, a yes. But I feel like somebody is waiting for whatever reason to give their answer. Someone's not ready to give an answer. And I feel like someone also is trying to be fair. Somebody is thinking about something. They're like, I'm thinking about it. Let me think, maybe. If someone wants to start over with you or you want to start over with somebody and you propose that, like, why don't we start over? I feel like the, the answer so far is like, let me think about it. Someone may have changed a lot or you may have changed since the last time you talked to this person or saw them. I feel too like you may be visited um, from a metaphysical standpoint visited by spirits something requires you to get out of your comfort zone too I feel like you are also going to make a decision that is unpopular. If there's distance between you and another person, I feel like the distance is coming to an end. Yeah. Even if it's like a physical distance, either you and someone are going to be together, close together in the same vicinity, or if the distance has been silenced, there's going to be communication. Hmm. I feel like something was suggested. It's like, let me just put this out there. I'm going to suggest this. This is fair. This is my, this is the best that I can give you. This is the best deal. This is like, whatever it is, I, I feel like there is some sort of negotiation and then just like, okay, so what do you think? Or what is, what's it gonna be?
one phase is definitely ending and a new phase is beginning or a new cycle is beginning. If you've been going through anxiety or depression, I feel like you will overcome that. You might be trying to ignore someone or block someone from your thoughts, but I feel like you can't help it. Like their image is still there, but their energy is still lingering, or this is how they feel about you. Someone's trying to shut you out or uh, refrain from communicating with you, but they can't stop thinking about you. Yep. They can't stop and it's driving them crazy. They're like, why do I keep thinking about this person? Why do I keep giving this person a chance? Or why am I forgiving this person? Hopefully it's nothing that's been too bad. Mm -hmm. I feel like you may be irresistible towards someone or vice versa. I feel like nobody's attention matters except for one person in particular. I don't know why I feel like maybe someone's watching Lord of the Rings this weekend. Hmm. I feel that you are still holding on to someone that you're no longer talking to in this moment, but their energy is still there. And there's getting ready to be a turn, like the tables are gonna turn, there's gonna be a change in situation. Somebody also is trying to trying to see if you're in a relationship. They're trying to see if you're single or if you're taken or they're trying to say trying to figure out who you're interested in. They're like are they interested in me or them? Uh, hmm. Some of you also seem like you're waiting for destiny. You're waiting for the universe to give you a sign or you're waiting for something to play out. You're like, I'm waiting for the universe. You might be waiting for somebody to leave a relationship if, you, if that's the situation where You've been waiting for someone to break up with somebody. I know that's not everyone's story, but it does kind of feel like, yeah, I'm waiting to see if they're still together, if they're gonna break up, because I still have hope. Matter of fact, someone does look single. Someone is, Someone's single now. They're free. There's they're not attached anymore. They're like it's just me and my dog. Or me and my pet, me and myself.
So there is an indication that the truth is going to come out about something or something is going to be confirmed. I also feel like somebody is like kind of threatening to leave if so if it's a situation where a relationship is getting a second chance I feel like somebody is like we can give it a go but I've got my eye on you I'm watching you and I'm gonna cut ties from you if I see this type of behavior oh my god my heart just fluttered when I said that too I'm like Ooh. um Hmm. that's why I'm saying something is like a yes or leaning towards a yes mm. I feel too like there is someone that you're connected to telepathically you may have tried to cut that cord before but you're still connected Someone may have cut, disconnected from you so that they could heal. Or you may have disconnected from someone so that you could heal. I feel like somebody feels better. Excuse me. I feel too like get ready to enter some sort of a contract. Whether it be romantic if you just bought a house, if you just bought a car, if you just started a job, if you just got a new client, um, I feel like you are going under contract. So let's pull some energy cards for you guys. All right, additional messages. What am I doing? Oh, fire. <laughs> Additional messages for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for February 5th through the 7th, 2021. Um. We have Angel of Strength, Fifth Chakra, Archangel Gabriel, Financial Constraints, Overall Energy, Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So I feel like with your seventh chakra being the overall energy, to me this is saying that you have some sort of foresight about the future. Mm. And then when I was saying something about using your common sense, I, I feel like Something's already really been decided, though, and it's about more so taking action. Something may have been revealed to you spiritually, but it requires courage for you to take action. Mm. I feel, too, like you've been studying or you've learned a lot about spirituality you may also be afraid to speak your mind or talk about unusual spiritual things, but you know that information could could help someone who needs to hear it. So with fifth chakra, I also feel like maybe that is something that is needing like you need to speak. Or there could be some sort of a blockage. I feel like don't hold back. Don't hold back on communicating or saying whatever it is that you need to say. Talk about something that you saw. Um, 
I don't know too if someone has too much pride to admit something or talk about they uh, talk about that they need help, asking for help, admitting that something's going on. Mm. I feel that if someone does not communicate what they are thinking about or what they're feeling that it leads to emptiness or feeling a lack of something. Mm. I feel like someone needs something. They need to hear something or they need to see something or they really need help in some way. Could be you, could be somebody you're dealing with. Someone also may feel empty, but they don't want to admit it or say it. I do feel like something is a doorway to something else. Maybe there's going to be some sort of a loss or disappointment before you receive uh, abundance or you know, you have to let go of something in order to make room for something new. I also see this as someone having what you don't have or you have something that someone doesn't have and can help. Hmm. Look for the number 33 as well. Maybe as um, something is saying that you need to pay attention or for some sort of confirmation, or maybe it's just some sort of sign for you. Yeah, and I feel like somebody also needs to be grounded. Somebody needs the willpower, or you need to work on your willpower to have what you want, or to resolve some sort of an issue. Also looks like somebody said the door is open. So I don't know if you told that to somebody or someone said that to you, like my door is open. Um, I feel like courage is needed to walk through. Yeah. Whether it's you or the other person, courage is needed. So those are the messages that I have for you guys. Hopefully something resonates. Um, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.